Hey, what's up guys? So you have a Westinghouse Roku TV. I'm gonna show you how to perform a factory reset without using the remote. We're gonna be using the reset button on the back of the TV. Now, depending on what Westinghouse Roku TV you have, like this one here, it's on the left side of my TV. Okay, you can see my TV right here, and it's on the left side. However, with your model, it may be somewhere else on the other side or anywhere else on the back of the TV, so you wanna go ahead and look closely. Now, you can see this button right here, and if you look right here, it says reset. What I want to do is press and hold that button and do not let go. Okay, so I'm going to get my pen ready. I'm going to put it right in the hole, and then we're going to go ahead. Ready, set, go. Press and hold. Do not let go. It turns the TV on. It's going to reboot the TV. I'm still holding on the button. Do not let go until the logo pops up or until the TV turns on. I'm still holding. Okay, now I can go ahead and let go of that hole. Now what's going to happen here, I mean, this whole process is going to take about one minute. It just uh, turned off and it rebooting, rebooted. It's going to go ahead and turn off again in a second. And it's going to go ahead and go back to the Westinghouse Roku TV logo here. And then eventually it's going to boot up until where you're in the setup where you have to, um, you know, go into the setup process. You got to choose your language first as if, I mean, it's basically um, factory reset back to factory default settings as if you just bought this TV brand new and took it out of the box. So it just rebooted twice. Let's get started. Good luck.